First, I would like to congratulate you to become UGBC lead platinum rated certified factory and you received 87 points which is a very high points and with that point you become number seventh in Bangladesh among all platinum rated certificate uh, certified factory and in the world you become ninth. So I would like to congratulate uh, uh, from our side and from Bangladesh to put our country in the world sustainability map. So I'd like to ask you why you decided to go green? Okay, thank you uh, uh, Mr. Ananto to uh, be a part of our journey. That's the, that's the first thing that uh, congratulations uh, you are uh, uh, giving me is actually you are one of the part I mean our partner who uh, make our dream true. So based on this, uh, I'd like to say you that uh, why actually we want to be green is basically uh, we believe this philosophy as our part of business. It's our business model because without being green, uh, we are unable to ensure that we are uh, doing business correctly in terms of ethical business, in terms of how we are taking care of the planet and how we are taking care of our people who are working for us. So that's the main uh, philosophy uh, of our business model. And based on this business model, I decided to be green because this is a platform where I can ensure that I am doing my green initiatives, especially when I'm talking about the planet. I am trying, I just try to do my best but I don't know how I should organize all of my elements, all of my components, because there are a lot of things. It is not only making, uh, planting some green uh, plants or something like this, because there are a lot of things that will make end of the day be green. So when I want it to be uh, green, basically it means that how I am efficient on energy, how I am using my water resources, how I am managing my waste management, all this together it will become green. So I wanted to uh, be green because I want a platform where I can be certified and internationally I can be recognized to be green. So that is my main intention and that is how my business model is working. Very nice and you talked from your uh, passion which I feel and I remember that you are looking for even location to find a way to get the right. Yeah. A location for the green. Yeah. So we should have transportation, social services for the people. Exactly. So that you were uh, adamant from that time. Yeah. And eventually we find a good location next to the transportation and it's becoming uh, platinum certified. Yeah. The next thing I want to ask you, uh, what, how this green benefited you and continue benefiting you? Well, uh, in general, uh, I think it's a long term process. It's not a overnight, uh, uh, I mean, return of investment. It is a long-term process because uh, this initiative is actually, uh, first of all, I, I would like to say that it is for specifically for us. It is specifically for Bangladesh, not for how much money I will earn, or, or, or what much, uh, how much in, in incentive I will get from buyers. That's not my main intention. First of all, we wanted to be a a green factory because we wanted to contribute something for our planet, for our people, for the for where we are running the industry. That should be a, a I mean, we need to contribute something for the society, for the uh, for the uh, for the environment where we are, our factory is located. That's my first intention. Because if I am not responsible, our rivers will become black, and that doesn't make sense to make money. If I am not responsible, then our water level will go down and down and nobody, if nobody is taking care of that, that doesn't make sense because end of the day, whether I earn money or if I have a billion dollar in my pocket, if I don't have the water, so nobody can drink, nobody, the, the whole society will suffer. So that's the main thing, that's the reason I invested and I wanted to go uh, green because that's the, that is how I can be benefited directly. This is number one. And then secondly, uh, I think that's that's a good tool uh, when we are talking about when we are talking about uh, the I mean marketing for for example when we are uh, going to a buyer and showing our products and and also showcasing that what we are doing for the planets 
in terms of the sustainability practice, in terms of the ecologic practice, in terms of the our uh, uh, how we are taking care of our people, all the together when we are uh, giving them the presentation to them that how we are operating our business, that gives us a good credit because that's the thing nowadays all the buyers, all the brands they are looking for. And based on this they are giving us the order because it is not, uh, we got some you know extra points, uh, they can easily compare with the conventional factory and our factory and then they choose us because we are uh, not only providing them a, a good good uh, product but also uh, uh, giving them uh, some kind of you know, uh, responsible, moral, uh, uh, moral, moral and uh, not only moral, but also responsible, you know, uh, manufacturer. Right. They think us as a responsible manufacturer. And, and that is, uh, I think that is uh, the business model that should be, uh, I mean, uh, practiced to uh, with all entrepreneurs in Bangladesh and so that we can uh, uh, not only uh, earn money, but also can be uh, a responsible manufacturer. I think that's the main point of, of uh, getting uh, benefited. And also, uh, you know, as a as a manufacturer, we got this kind of incentive and credits, and people are, uh, you know, praising us, and they are they are giving us a, I mean, like you as you as you have done the, a lot of congratulations we are doing because this initiative is actually helping us to uplift us as a responsible manufacturer. That's the point. Very good. And we always talked about uh, branding Bangladesh. I think this uh, green factory movement doing that. Yeah. Because when you talked about world factory and uh, top 10 factory of the world, nine of them are in Bangladesh, which is a very uh, things that make us very proud. And I also find that you not only just going for certificate, you really practice in sustainability. And recently you published your sustainability report, which is another milestone in Bangladesh garment sector. Uh, not many factories do publish that and putting uh, that report together, you really have to comply with or do a lot of things yeah. uh, in sustainability manner. Yeah. So my question is to you, what do you see in future that you are taking this your practice, sustainable yeah. practice in the future? What yeah, yeah. My, my, the main thing is that why we are, the first, first issue is why we are uh, publishing this sustainability report. The, the main intention is actually uh, to, to make us transparent in our all our operation because we wanted to show that we are not only believing, we are not only practicing, but what the results, what's the outcome, we need to showcase these things because uh, if I talk about specifically our sustainability report in 2019, we, we, we actually find it as our benchmark that how much uh, carbon dioxide we are uh, generating to produce one piece of garment, how much water we are consuming, how much energy we are consuming, so we make a, a good benchmark on that. So based on that benchmark, now I know that this is the benchmark of my uh, sustainability practice and then from next year, like, like uh, for example in 2020 when I published another report, then I will see how much I progress in terms of sustainability because it's not a, uh, it's not a, you know, as you said, it's not a certification, it's not only uh, believing and practicing, but because you need to find some data, some values, some, some, some sort of a standard. For example, I can tell you uh, for, uh, you know, the SDG goal, even SDG goal, that has a, they set up a, a, a kind of, uh, you know, target about uh, carbon dioxide emission, that by 2030, every institution should reduce their carbon dioxide emission at least 30%, right. for example. So that is, that is how, for example, if I, uh, when I benchmark our uh, uh, carbon dioxide emission in, in, in the last uh, sustainability reporting, we find out that okay, this much of uh, carbon dioxide we are emitting to produce one piece of garment and now we know how much we have to do by 2030. So right. we have the uh, real data and we have the value, we know where, where we are going. Right. So based on this, uh, when we are becoming transparent in our operation and when we have the data, so we can make our company a data-driven company and, and that will make a good sense of everybody that okay we are improving or maybe sometime it can be go down or it can go up so exactly we know that what's going on so when we are talking about sustainability then we must have all sorts of data and when you have the data 
then it's very easy to decide. If you exactly know that how much you have to invest, what kind of operation you have to take, what kind of initiative we have to take. So all together, when you have this, then it will be easy for you to operate the, your company and you, you can feel where you are going in terms of the journey towards the sustainability. That's the number one. Second thing, as you say that what kind of initiative or what kind of uh, practice we should take in Bangladesh uh, to make it more greener future. So that is what we are looking for. So my suggestion will be that in Bangladesh, uh, I think everybody first need to understand what is sustainability stands for. Yes. It is not only a certification. It's not only uh, uh, how you are operating your business, but also how you are showcasing. What is your target point? How you are, uh, as I say, that uh, a data-driven, uh, I mean, uh, information and tra uh, transparency. Even we are also working on the traceability. For example, our we are producing uh, uh, global recycle standard products. So we exactly know that what kind of recycling product we are using. So we have the traceability also in our product line. Right. So like this way, if you know how you wanted to operate your business in terms of sustainability, this is the first of first thing, then you have to be transparent and then your product has to be traceable. If you can combine these three elements and three parameters in your business line, then there is no issue of being sustainable and uh, you can be sustainable for a long time, you can earn money, you can uh, be responsible for your uh, environment, you can be uh, responsible for your, um, uh, uh, for your people who are working for you and also the buyers who are buying from us, they will find us a, an ethical uh, and, and, and uh, responsible uh, manufacturing project and everybody will love to come us and because uh, I think by next five years, maybe uh, there are a lot of new countries are coming up who will take over our business because maybe uh, a lot of basic item, I mean bottom of the pyramids, all the items we are producing nowadays, maybe they will move to other place because we may be getting expensive in, by, in, in future. In that case, this tool of being sustainable, producing sustainable will keep us running for another 10 or 20 years. That will make us more... Uh, you know, uh, more sustainable, and the, the, the industry will be more sustainable. Real sustainable. Yeah, that is the real sustainability. Right. It is very nice to hear because uh, we heard uh, before that uh, the, the people that get certificate, uh, there is no benefit. Uh, why they going to get certificate? So what we try to say from our side, it's not a certificate, it's a practice. Yep. So from you, what I just learned, you enjoying doing that. Yep. Of course, and yeah. you're seeing the real benefit. Yeah. And also I feel like from your talking that you 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 don't consider any other way. If you're not practice sustainability, you're not gonna last in this business. Of course. Yeah. So that's very nice. And uh, with sustainability reporting and other initiative, lead certification, ongoing process that you are doing, I also find that you try to improve your people, also find that you try to diversify your product, which is very good. So the last thing that I want to ask you that what you want to tell all of your colleagues in the government sector or any other business that what they should think about sustainability or green? Well, uh, there is a lot of concepts actually. There is some misconcepts, there are some good concepts. Right. Some, so it is, it is uh, I, I mean, sustainability is a kind of religion also, you can say. Right. How I say, why I say it's a religion? Because in religion, if you don't, if you just believe, it will not work. You have to practice. Right. You know, if you don't practice, then you will not get the, the all the virtues right. and all the things. Right. So it is also a kind of religion that you just believe and you just sit down and it will work automatically. It will not like that. So it's a kind of religion that you practice. You just believe and then you practice. How you do? How you believe? First, you have to understand what is sustainability. It is in Bangla. It's called tech shui. That means you. Uh, you can sustain yourself, you can live long, I mean your business should live long for many years. It's not that your business will, will be collapsed in five years. Your business model should be a kind of model that will run for maybe 50 years. For example, in, Bangla, in, 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 the, in the whole world, you will, feel, you will see a lot of successful business, they are operating for few hundred years. How they are doing it? Because without taking care of the people, and without taking care of the peak planet, you really cannot sustain your business. You can earn a lot of money, but it will ruin 
it can ruin in overnight. It, 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 it never know because it, it, we have seen a lot of examples like that. So what I am trying, what I'm trying to say to our colleagues and entrepreneurs in Bangladesh that they should uh, be first understand what is sustainability stand for, uh, why it is important, and how it works. They need to understand this. Uh, you know uh, what I say. This uh, uh, I mean, uh, bibliotic terms. I mean, the terms in terms of the terminologies and all the things, they need to understand first this. And then they have to believe these things. Okay, if I go green, if I, because I, I, I talk to many entrepreneurs and they understand that uh, the green factory means that you plant, it, 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 has, it has to be look like a green. <laughs> it's not like that. So th there is a lot of things they have to understand first that what is sustainability stands for and all the terminologies. Then they will come how they will operate with a minimum investment, minimum cost, all the things they will analyze and they will start working on it. And it is not, they must not understand that sustainability practice is only a marketing tool or earning money. It is a responsibility as a manufacturer for our people and for the planet. That they need to understand first. If they don't understand these things then it, it will not work because I, I, I know, uh, uh, you know, there is a big difference between the need and greed. If, if you need to understand that uh, how much money you need or whether you will earning money because you are very greedy. So you need to understand the difference. So when you understand this difference, then it will be easy for you to, to uh, make the whole process that how you will earn money, where you will uh, spend it and uh, you will find a good causes that your money where, uh, the, I mean, where it is spending, you will find the good causes. Okay, I'm spending uh, this, uh, for example, I'm spending, I spend my money to, for the water recycling. It actually helps me in a different, many ways. For example, I'm, I'm helping with the water level. Yeah. I'm recycling water and it is, uh, it is giving me a lot of uh, less uh, water consumption and I mean, I mean I'm, I'm also saving bills. But on the other hand, if I drain this water to the community, can you think that how bizarre it will be, that how embarrassed it will be if it is not drained in a proper way? Right. If it is, if the, this dirty water is going to a drain or it going to a river or a, in, the, in the community and it will be really embarrassing. So why I will invest money and I will be embarrassed to the, the people in the community where, where I'm living, where, where my factory is running. Mm -hmm. So based on this, I must say that uh, we have to be responsible and when we feel as a responsible manufacturer, then it will give us a points, it will give us credits, and it will, uh, it will uh, help us to run our business more responsibly and ethically. And I'm sure that will, you will get back your money and it will, it will pay off end of the day anyway. So that is, that is what I understand and that is what my recommendation to all my colleagues and my, uh, all the entrepreneurs in, in the apparel industry, they should understand this and they should start right away. The last thing that I usually say to my uh, people and uh, my workshop, that when I practice green, I feel peace, I enjoy. Yeah. Because nobody see it, there's no certificate when you um, practice green, personal level. When I put the lights off, I feel good. And from your talking and from your voice and tone, I feel like you also enjoy doing it. It's very fulfilling. It's very satisfying. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It is, of, of course, it is uh, fulfilling, and it is uh, because, uh, 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 for example, uh, uh, when I, I when I see that I am not spoiling the nature, when I see my uh, wastes, all the wastes from the factory are uh, uh, dispo I mean, uh, disposing, disposing, and, and recycling responsibly. Yeah. Right. That makes me makes me feel. I mean, really, I feel happy because I am doing it correctly. Because it is not. I can throw it in any, but I can do the landfill. I can. I, I, I can do it. Right. It is. It is easy for us. You know, especially in Bangladesh, it is uh, the, the the law and the, the situation we have. We, yeah. I think we, we. It is easy for us to be being not irresponsible. Right. <laughs> so in that way. So. Why I will be uh, doing that? I will be. I, I must be responsible, and I must uh, uh, do my work responsibly, and that surely make you feel happy and peace and, and happy. And and also, um, end of the day, when you earn money, 
and that 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 makes you uh, you know quite uh, a peace in a peace of mind that okay I'm, I'm not only earning money but it is a responsible way, a, a responsible way. Right. so that is that is that is how I feel right. so thank you very much from our side because uh, we like uh, more people like you who believe and practice uh, and continuous try to improve yes it's a course. continuous process, continuous process certificate is just the beginning yeah. of green it's not Jai get the certificate I'm done with. Yeah, like no. That. It's the beginning, and of course. With your yeah. sustainable reporting now, you have to improve every year. Yeah. Which is challenging yeah. and enjoyable. Yeah. So I think you're going to do that. And uh, thank you very much for the opportunity and uh, giving us time and uh, doing green with you. Yeah. And hopefully we will be doing it long time. Yeah, thank you. And thank you for... Uh, also, I, I like to say that uh, 360 Degree Solution is doing also a very good job in, uh, in Bangladesh uh, because uh, if I talk about uh, uh, the, the local consultancy, I think I prefer 360 degree solution because uh, it is a homegrown uh, 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 consultancy firm. So we, because uh, in Bangladesh, we, if I talk about two years back, there is a lot of foreign uh, consultant who tried to, um, uh, I mean, you can see, educate us how we can be a, 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 a green and sustainable factory and now I mean there is a lot of things uh, coming up a lo lot of local uh, consultants are coming up and and I think you are one of the one of the best that uh, consultant I, I think uh, you understand green you feel green and you, you believe in green and you also try to educate uh, people like us and, and and that is making me uh, uh, happy that we have a partnership with you so thank you for uh, being with us and also helping us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. much. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.